Hi, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, thank you guys for coming. Obviously, um, it's a it's a good day for us to be able to stand and stand in front of you guys and answer some questions and be around the media. And, and for us, we're we're very excited for, for this day. I think coming into the season, obviously the expectations are always the same for us, and that's to come out, play well, put a good product on the floor, and win a national championship. And it's always our goal, and that's our only goal. Right now, coming into our to our preseason, we're very healthy. That's important for us. Um, we're playing hard. We have we have a lot of a lot of depth this year, which is going to allow us to play faster, to really play the way that we want to play. And at, at, at every position, we really have some players that can make some plays for us. And just moving forward in, into the season, that's our only goal: is to be able to get on the floor, make plays, play fast, be aggressive. In practice, we want to create a culture of competition to get our players to play hard, to compete against each other, to make each other better, to make our team better. And I think that if we can accomplish that on a daily basis within practice, that we have a chance to have a pretty good season. So just, you know, just really excited about, about our season, excited about our depth, excited about our team, and just very pleased to be healthy right now. Well, I think that's going to help us. Obviously, when you have a post presence and you can throw the ball inside and no one can help, we're going to have one-on-one -on -one matchups in the post, which we can really score down low. And this year, I thought that Amaya did a fantastic job last year as a freshman coming into arguably the toughest conference in the country, playing well for us, being on an all-rookie team, and Digna stepping in, playing some 5 for us. I think she's on an all-rookie team, so I think you have two players that stepped in as freshmen and did a, a fantastic job. I'm adding Maeva into the post, who, who's really skilled, can score from all spots on the floor. I think we, we, we really opened our offense up with having a big post presence and adding another presence to those two that we already had. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's def definitely going to be a balance, and we're going to dare you to help. Because if you help, we can still shoot it. So you got to, you got to make, a, make a decision. You want to guard two. All rookie players in the post one on one, and then guard another player who plays on the French national team in the post one on one, or you want to help. Whatever you do, I feel good about us scoring. If we can throw the ball out, we can shoot it. If we play one on one inside, we can score. So, while you said the past couple of years you have eight or nine starters, when it came to actually starting the game, you kept you know, the same five stars the past two years you know, for that year. This year, though, the immense amount of depth you apparently have. And I'm sure you'll say again, yeah, you got your nice start, but do you, do you really envision multiple different starting lineups or is it, you know, five and the bench players? No, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I was going to actually really, really want to talk about that, so I'm glad you said that. Oh. And I think that we get caught up into who's starting, like who comes out when the ball goes up in the air. What does it matter if you start and play like three minutes a game? Would you better start and play three minutes or come out the bench and play 37 minutes? I think that you got to start to ask yourself if, if, if that's the most important thing for you to start, then you can start and play two or three minutes. So I, I, don't, I don't get caught up in the starting, and, and, I, and I really challenged our team, and I will continue to challenge them. Don't get caught up in the starting. Don't let people get in your ear and say, oh, you're not starting, but you're playing 27, 28 minutes a game. It, it, and for me, when you have a team that this deep, we probably could start 80% of our roster if you want to say who's a top five, top six, top seven. We have a very deep basketball team. And for us, it's always players eight, nine, and 10 that win championships. It's players eight, nine, and 10 that get you the final four in championship games. We know that because we've done it. And it's, and, and it's always that because, you, because any team can get seven good players. Most teams in the Power Five Conference have seven really good players. But can your eight, nine, and 10 players step in, be productive, and help you win? Our 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 players can probably step in and help us win right now. So for us, it's, we're not going to put a, put, a, put a premium on, on starting. A lot of times, I start the same five the whole year because we have a, a rotation on how we want to sub in. I have a player come off the bench that can play multiple on positions. There's different reasons why players start or don't start. So I'm really challenging our players. I'm challenging everyone that's around them to, to not to be in their ear about who's starting just to be in the air about your productivity and your minutes. 
and you know how you're helping this team. So for me, starting is not important. We got, we got to put five players on the floor to start the game, so that's what we do. I know you like to go with the we're going 31 and 0, 32 and 0, 38. So, but I move away from it a little bit because I, you know, the, I, I guess I don't think the goal is truly are out yet. But if you look at last year, if you, if you look at maybe say a mid 20s type team and you incorporate the talent you just mentioned in the recruiting class and everybody back, um, do you are you a top 10 team? Top 12, like where in your mind, apart from just winning every game, where in your mind are you right now? I think that I think that we're definitely a very very tough team in a very tough conference that has a chance to win the conference. I really do believe that. Uh, we, have a, we, have a, we have a lot of talent. Obviously, our conference is, is very top heavy. I know that Notre Dame is probably the number one team in the country right now. I think Louisville is top two, top three, at least. And so, so you're talking about two of the top teams in the country are in our conference. We, we, we look at top 10 um, recruiting classes. We had the top 10 um, recruiting classes. It was five ACC teams in the top 10 in the national recruiting classes when they were ranked. This is a very tough conference. I think that we have enough talent to be right at the top of the conference. We definitely have enough talent to, to win the conference. And, um, and, and I really know that we've done a really good job of trying to compile enough talent and, and enough depth I mean, to be very make competitive and, and to win the conference championship. We don't, we don't try to sign what they call glue players. We try to sign players that can help us win the championship. I think just the, just the balance that they have provided us. Obviously, bringing in um, Emily, everyone knows. You know, she's a McDonald's All-American, very very good player, multi-dimensional, can really score from all spots on the floor, very explosive offensive player. Veronica was MVP of the uh, U20 men division, very very good scorer. She's played at a high level, really knows the game. You know, we we talk about the players that were that. They were sitting now, you know, Kiki was a top 25 player, Mayweather MP, national team players. I mean, we can go on and on about the, about the players that, 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 have, that have sat out and players that we have coming in. But we have, we have a lot of talent. And, um, and I guess you guys know me by now. I'm not going to sit up here and, and try to sandbag and act like we're not a good basketball team because this is my team. I think my team is a very good basketball team. And I think we have a lot of good, good talent and a lot of players that can help us win. So I'm excited about our, about our players coming in. Got players that became eligible from from sitting out last year, so I'm very excited about our newcomers and also the players that we're sitting out. You know, kind of going along those lines, uh, is this kind of the perfect balance you've had of that experience having all five starters back and then all the young players coming in? Is this kind of the perfect balance you've had in terms of the full team? I think so. It's 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 important. You know, it, it, it reminds you of the year. You know, obviously when we had uh, PD and Britt and Brianna Day and all those guys coming back. And, um, and and Butler and you know you can go on and name the whole team Kanye Fondra. We 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 had a very good basketball team, and they really played together and, and they really got it. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing for this team. You know, can they play together and can we and can they be a cohesive unit and will they get it? I think that if we can get that accomplished, we have a chance to be pretty good. But you know, there there there's some intangible qualities that we need to develop as a team, and we if we develop those. We'll be deep at every position, and we'll be to, we'll be to, we'll, we'll, we have to play deep in those positions and be pretty good. Just regarding starters, like, what's your plan to start? You still talking about starters again? <laughs> Just in terms of, like, like, length of the minutes, do you plan to play more players, or is it you just not work for the best players to lean on? No, no, we, we, we're definitely trying to, trying to play more, more players, and we should be able to. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough when you, when you, when you have a lot of – a lot of talent. I, I would say this, you know, we, we talk about this all, all the time in our office. I think that when you look at, you know, obviously, you know, Tammy Reese and Adi Amadou, they, they pretty much went out and really signed a, signed a great class. And, um, you, know, you know, Tammy spent, spent a lot of time in, in recruiting Emily and did a fantastic job of, of getting Emily for us. You know, Emily was a, was a, was a must-get on recruit for us coming into this class, and, and we are very thankful and grateful that she chose us. And obviously, what 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 Adney Amadou has done bringing in and the players that he's brought in it has been um, tremendous. So we have two of the top recruiters, I believe, in the country. Obviously, when you sign the number two class in the country, it maybe it maybe one other group of assistants is probably better than them, right? Arguably. And then from that point, what Vaughn does on a, on a daily basis is getting us into a system that we can play, be aggressive, be aggressive and score in. It's fantastic. My job is just to try not to screw it up. Because they, they, they've done a really good job of, of getting the players, and Vaughn is doing a very good job of, of getting us into a, a style of play to where we can play. You know, we got Ryan Kabilis and, 
Our strength coach, he does a great job keeping him healthy and Cameron McKinney keeps him healthy. We just, right now, we're just very fortunate. We're healthy, we have a deep team. Um, we've recruited great talent. And we just get them on the floor, keep them together, and, and play hard. You mentioned Emily being a must-get. I flashed back to when, after the UConn game, you said, you know, we're going to get the next Brandon Stewart. Um, I know that you know, the same players, but do you feel like you, you, you did, you kept uh, the Brandon Stewart type relatively home and, you know, just that part of that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. It's, it's, an, it's important to get, the, to get the top players in your state. I believe that you, you, you really can't, can't downplay that. If they fit you and they're in your state, you must uh, secure them. And, and yeah, Emily, Emily is that player. I mean, she's, she's very explosive. And you guys are going to see a player that can, that can shoot the ball, put the ball on the floor, and pass it. And, and she's a really good player. And definitely was a player that we, that we targeted early and a player that we knew that we had to get in to our program, get on our roster to help us win. And we're looking forward to her playing, playing well this year. Well, we're returning starters, five starters, obviously, and we're returning players that have some experience, and he's and he's adding good, good talent to this, to the to the starters that we have returned, and it's it's really important to have balance. It's important to have um, depth at positions. That that team had that. I think with this team, we have more size. We're we're longer. We're 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 bigger. I think that in inside we have a lot of balance. I mean, the year we went to the championship game, it was. It was Bria and Brianna, and that was it. And they did a fantastic job of playing playing that season. I know Bria played the whole season injured. We're not we're not in that position right now. And we're reasonably healthy. We have no nobody out, and it's so important just just to be able to get to the season with your players, have depth. So that's the similarity in those two teams. We I think we're very deep in every position, and we're healthy. Coach, you have three French players on the team that you mentioned a bit. What do you expect from them this year? And can you talk to me a little, a little bit about like, the overseas recruiting process? Well, the OC's recruiting process is Adney Amadou, period. I mean, he's, a, he's, he's the premier international recruiter in the country. By far, it's not close. You know, every, every, every top player that's in, that, that's in Europe, we have a chance to recruit them and we have a chance to get, and that's very important for us um, to be able to sign, sign, sign the best players internationally. And, and, the, and, and the process is just that we're, we're able to identify them early and we really put a, put a premium on the time that we spend in Europe, are recruiting, and it's important. You know, we you talk about getting the best players, so now we're we're, we're recruiting and signing them in the best players in the world, and that's important for us. And 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 Adi single-handedly has, has really raised our level in the international recruiting, and we're very fortunate to have him here, and, and very fortunate to have the players here. What do you expect from the three players? They're gonna they'll 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 help us right away. They they're all very good players. I mean, they played at a high level. They've they've they they've already played in meaningful games. Which is important because nothing, nothing I mean, places big game experience. If you ever been to their competitions and, and been to the European Championships, you know every game is important. You know they lose, they go home. Period. There's no losing. See, you lose two games, you're out of competition. So for them, big games, every game for them is a big game. So I think that's that's a luxury that we have with them and some players that's that's done it before at a at a high level. So I think this level. We'll, we'll, we'll not overwhelm them, and they'll come in and they'll be able to play well. I think right right now it, it, it's probably just just our conditioning. You know, we gotta we, we gotta make sure that we get in better shape to, to be able to play fast, to be able to play players in the minutes that we that we need to need, need to play them. But overall, I can say this: probably the best preseason that we've had. But there's a there's a, there's a next step we need to make, and I can just think a lot of that too is just us, you know, going harder in practice and revving up practice. But when you're healthy, you know, you knock on wood and you just want to get through the day and go upstairs and, and see 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 that everybody's back tomorrow. So we'll uh, we'll we'll get there. We're gonna have some pretty intense practices over the next two or, two or three weeks, and we'll get some referees in here and get up and down the court at a, at a game clip. And I think we'll be fine with that. Well, Digna, Digna went and played in, 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 in the World Championships, and she's played at a high level, had a, had a great experience there. And um, she's come back in great shape. So every improvement that I really wanted, wanted to see her make, 
she came back that way. I want to see her run the floor better. She came back ran the, running the floor great, shooting the ball, but she's shooting the ball well. And she's doing the things that we need her, her to do when they step her game out even further. So she's improved a lot. And that's very, very pleasing to me and our staff. And I think that it'll pay great dividends going into the season. Yeah, absolutely. She's definitely uh, inside, outside player, outside, inside player, however you want to phrase it. But, but she can definitely score from all spots on the floor. And we have a player that can score from all spots on the floor. That's important. Thank you. Thank you.